So this is a pretty quest heavy part and unfortunately on this specific part I forgot to turn on my game audio so everything is muted. So I'm going to be doing some voiceovers in post and I hope you guys enjoy them. Have a good time. Good evening everybody. Welcome back to the channel. So today is the first recording after I launched my channel update video. You know where I talked a bit about doing daily uploads. The daily uploads have been going out now. You know it's now the 3rd of July. Haven't found time to record before that. But yeah, it feels really good to have all these daily uploads going out. Like it's it's really, really fun to me to have videos ready until like the halfway point of August. Like it's super cool. So today we are not going to be looking at anything incursion related. Today my plan is to go prepare for the sunken temple because in two days, it is now July 3rd and July 5th in the evening, I have a raid planned to try and do sunken temple. Now, the thing I really wanted to do is I want to experience Sunken Temple, hopefully clear it, but at least experience Sunken Temple while it is still the most recent raid. I don't want to get into a situation like I kind of had with Nomergon and I had with uh, Black Fathom Deeps, Depths, something like that, where, you know, you go into it and it's not super easy because you still have to learn the mechanics yourself, but people are over leveled, people are over geared. And people are like compensating your lack of skill by just having more stats. And I want to experience Sunken Temple while it's still the hardest content and while it's still, you know, as challenging as it can be. So that means I want to do it before phase four starts, which will be in eight days. So today, the focus is going to be on picking up all of the quests that we need for the Sunken Temple. I do think the God Hakar is like the quest, pretty much. The Gem Burst Circlet, I think, is super good. And I most likely will replace my Emerald Enchanted Circlet if we do get the Gem Burst Circlet. Just because it's it's so good. It just gives so much more. It even compensates for the lack of the stat bonus we lose from the set bonus. So yeah, I will want to grab that. And I think this is the hardest quest to get as well because the quest chain before it is quite long. Remember, I think this is the quest chain that started before Zulfarak. I think we have to go into Zulfarak, do some more stuff outside of it, and then... You know, get the egg for which we had to go to Jinta Alor, and then we have to go to the Sanka Temple. So it's a very long quest chain, but I think the God Hakar is like the final step with like the big, big reward. So I want to go pick up the other quests. I'll go figure out where they are, and I'll cut back in as we slowly try and get them tonight. Also, I will keep Question for today, just because I don't want to have to uninstall it and reinstall it. Uh, you know, because I'm probably going to be doing incursions again, maybe even later tonight or tomorrow. Uh, so we kind of get a bit of an experience as to how it is with Questy active. I can, of course, reactivate Questy like this, and I can hover the map as well if I want to see which quests are where. And, oh, Jamal on the Prophet. That might actually be a quest for the Sunken Temple. That's kind of cool. But there should be a quest here as well, and I don't know why it isn't, so I'll have to figure that out. Oh boy, there is a prerequisite quest, which also is a five-quest quest chain to bring me to this quest. Oh boy, we're going to have a long night. Right, it doesn't appear to be a very long quest chain, but we will have to go to Ironforge and then back here. So I'll park the quest for now, and I'll look to the other ones and see if we can kind of optimize this route for once. Oh, that is a, that is a big spider. Shadra, the Venom Queen. That looks uh, kind of cool and uh, even a little bit creepy. And I will have to get over there somewhere because the quest giver is over there because for the first time ever I can see where a quest giver is on the map. Please don't aggro me. Please. You and your giant legs. You stay away from me. Are you like bugged? Are you just like hugging that wall? Like This is the most dangerous quest I've ever had to pick up. But here we go. Woo. We climb down here. We climb next to these uh, cages where uh, the Witterbark um, griffin was also parked. Look at that spider. Look, look at that face over there. All the eyes and stuff. Maybe I'll zoom out. <laughs> oh, walkie talkie again. I was going to say, maybe I'll zoom in on um, on the video just to, you know, make people who hate spiders just like completely hate my channel. But no, I won't be that mean. I won't be that mean, guys. I promise. Where is my imp? Oh, my imp's up there. Look at him go. Oh, he's being harassed, though. Are, are, are you fine, sir? All right, sir. So just don't, don't worry. Go, go hit him. Go kill him. We walkie talkie our way through this. Oh boy, I didn't have a health stone prepared, so I actually had to pop one of these potions that I purchased. But hey, 
good thing that I purchased those potions. All right. Here we go. We are at Atal Al. No, sorry. Atalai Exile. All right. My Widabar companions don't take kindly to strangers around their home. Me, I don't have a home anymore. I was exiled from my people, the great Atalai tribe of the Swamp of Sorrows. Our spiritual leader, Jamalan, had what he called a prophecy. He believes the summoning of the god Hakar will bring the Atalai immortality. But I urged caution. What if the prophecy was nothing more than manipulation? I want revenge for my exile. Bring me Jamanal's head. Maybe then my people will be free. So, you're, you will have to choose one of these rods. The range strider leggings. Increases healing done by... Oh, sorry. I thought it was both healing and damage. I was like, is that 35? But that is... Like, that is really, really, really good. If I were playing a healing spec. Like, this probably is like... Isn't this like best in slot priest gear or something? Like it has to be, right? Like it's so, so much healing. And then also the spirits. And like some HP. Like uh, this feels like perfect healing gear to me. And then Helm of the Exile plus 36 attack power. I think this is then this probably is like like best in slot or like very close to best in slot for DPS specs. I might check that out because I'm actually kind of curious now. Uh for us, not really too much stuff, but hey, it's an easy to pick up quest and we have it. So oh, people are fighting him. Oh, is it like a quest mob or something? Unfortunately, I probably won't get any progress if I, um, or get anything if I hit it. But I will just hit it, you know, just to help the people out. Because I am a nice and very handsome gnome. There we go. I helped you people. Oh, look at that death animation. Look at, look at this corpse. Hello, I'm in your butt. Don't. Take that out of context. All right, and here we are in the Stormwind Tavern. I think we picked up a quest here long, long, long ago. We had to go find some miners. I think this guy, Wild with Thistle Nettle, I think he gave us a Dead Mines quest. Yeah, collecting memories. There it is. I'm pretty sure, yeah, the Union cards are Dead Mines, guys. That's so long ago. Also, I'm still quite liking this armor. Like, it's not super cool armor, but just the fact that it's cohesive for once makes me so happy. The cape works quite well with it as well. I'm assuming I have to go down here. There's going to be like a big area with. No, he's not here. Hold on. Did I just miss him upstairs? He's supposed to be here unless Questy is just bamboozling me. Is it this guy? I mean, there's no Quest indicator again. In search of the temple. There was a time when I was young and full of vigor like you, Warlock. But now I am old and unable to explore the world like I once did. Ah, the things I saw. But there was one mystery that eluded me. For my final quest, the Explorers League sent me in search of the Temple of Atal Hakar. It was rumored to be located in the Swamp of Sorrows. Because of my frail state, I traveled the skies by Griffin in search of it. But I never found it. Help an old dwarf out. Perhaps you will have better luck on foot. Alright, well, I do know exactly where it is, and to be fair, it is a pretty big temple, and it's not that easy to... Well, it's quite quite hard to miss, you know? Uh, so, yeah, we have In Search of the Temple, for which we will have to search for the Temple of Atalakar. So I guess we'll just have to go and check that place out and, you know, like, witness it with our own eyes. Uh, but yeah, that's a quest I will do in a bit. It is an elite quest, though, so I don't know exactly if there's going to be some difficulty to it. All right, back at the Pool of Tears, and Questy is telling me that if I move close, I will trigger it. And apparently there are stairs over there. Did I just completely miss those stairs last time I was there? I kind of want to see what the entrance looks like now. Or did, did I go up there? I can't remember whether I went up there and then just couldn't proceed, or... I, you know, I just, I just don't know. So I will... I will go up here real quick i'll take you guys with me and ooh, that does appear to be the entrance guys do we want to get a quick sneak peek you know a couple episodes later you will be seeing me do this maybe next episode i'm not quite sure depending on how i do things Ooh, i like the very undead aesthetic oh it looks cool oh oh yeah of course i mean it's the sunken temple right so the entrance must be underwater Oh, this is cool. Okay, let me... Actually, I can just poke my head out. The Broken Hall. Ooh, I like this place. 
all these um like wet like what even are these things like on the on the ceilings i don't even know i don't know what they're called i know what they are but i don't know what they're called all right really cool oh merc slitherer oh we're gonna fight some like cool snakes and stuff all right i'm ready for that uh what is this fire festival fortitude increases stamina by 30. where did i get that is there a festival going on did i is there something in stormwind that i wasn't aware of probably okay anyway uh, i will continue doing quests i'll see you guys in a bit cool place though uh back in the cozy tavern back at brohan cask valley hello the temple of atal hakar had been sunk beneath the pool of tears and surrounded by the green dragon flight an amazing discovery, Warlock, but obviously something has gone terribly wrong. Ah, terribly, terribly wrong. As I mentioned earlier, I attempted to scout the temple on my own from the air. Well, I wasn't exactly alone. I traveled to the renowned Griven Aviary at Airy Peak in the Hinterlands. There, I enlisted the aid of one of their finest pilots. The pilot fell off his mount down into the swamp. In my old age, as the poor fellow's name eludes me, the master of the aviary would remember, no doubt. Journey there and seek out Felset Wildhammer. We need to find out what happened to that pilot. Okay, I got you. I will head back to the hinterlands. I was expecting that because obviously I know that the follow quest takes place there. All right, Felset Wildhammer, we have arrived. What do you want, laddie? Can't you see I've got problems to take care of here? Who has time to stand around yapping with some gnome chatterbox? There are trolls coming out of the woodwork. Make it snappy. Hey, don't... Don't disrespect my yapping, okay? I have built an entire series. I am well over a hundred parts now into the series, and it is built on the premise of a yapping. So no disrespect to yapping. Anyway, complete quest. So, you're a glorified errand boy for some old Explorers League geezer, eh? Well, you listen to me, Warlock. I don't know who your old buddy was flying around with down in Azeroth. Do I look like Griffin Master Talanax to you? Do I? If you're so interested in flight assignments, why don't you ask the Griffin Master? If I catch you idling around here for much longer, I am going to put you to some real work. Now, get a move on. Alright, I got you. Over to Griffin Master Talanax once again. We have helped this guy before. I'm sure he'll help us out as well. Um, also, the voiceover mod, I noticed, you know, some NPCs are really quiet. Some NPCs are not very quiet, which... It's a bit weird. Now, fortunately, in post, I just, I'm just i just bumping up the audio to, like, reasonable levels. So, like, one NPC, I'll bump a bit more than others. So, you guys should be fine. But it's a bit weird that some of them are just much louder than others. It is rather amusing to me in editing that I choose to say that in the one video where, apparently, I have the game audio muted. So, I have to go into post and do all the voice acting myself. Anyway, I'm over here at Griffin Master Telenax. And let's see what he has to say. Also, I did remove levels plus for a bit because... Like in some places this looks really really good but um like this in the incursions just made my eyes bleed of greenness like the green haze just became like it was penetrating my ears ears eyes anyway griffin master telenax ah yes of course i remember sending one of my griffin riders to lend a hand to brohan cask belly always a soft spot in my heart for the explorers league my father helped with the initial excavation team that discovered ulamon as a matter of fact I sent who I thought was my best Griffin Rider at the time with Brohan. He was a chap by the name of Rhapsody Shindigger. And what a Griffin jockey he was. Well, until... Until something happened to him, apparently. Rhapsody took quite a liking to the booze. Now, don't get me wrong, all of us dwarfs up here at the aviary love a good ale when the time is right. But all Shindigger took the liquid like Griffin takes to the skies. And a damned shame it was too. No one could fly like Rhapsody. First sign of trouble was when he came stumbling back from that mission with your buddy, Brohan. All went downhill quickly after that. Had to let him go. Last I heard, he set up a brew camp to the east of here. Alright, and we of course know that that is over there, which is where I was initially to grab the quest. And I think this is going to complete the quest, and then I can start the quest chain that is going to lead me into... Um, the Sunken Temple. I forgot for a moment. And we are back at the Rhapsody Shindigger. Hello. Hiccup! I'm looking right at you, but you keep bubbling up and down, making me dizzy. Ho ho. Hiccup! Whoa, did you feel that? Crowns are shaking, my friend. I need a drink. Hiccup! Hiccup! <laughs> <laughs> <coughs> my god. 
I think I'm dying. Okay, that was hilarious. I didn't expect him to just like scream, hiccup. <laughs> That's obviously not supposed to actually be him saying hiccup, but the AI is like, hiccup. <gasps> oh, beautiful. Complete quest. <laughs> hiccup. So that crazy fool bro and sent you. My, we had quite an adventure. Hiccup. If you want me to tell you what happened down in the swamp, I'm gonna need me something stiff to drink. It wasn't a pretty scene, you see. Hiccup. Tell you what, bring me what I need to whip up a calumno cocktail and I'll tell you all about it. Gonna need some rock gizzards from Tenaris and, let's see, some grotic and iron fur livers from Ferrolis. A nice, stiff calumno cocktail, that'll get me talking. Oh boy, okay, we can go grab those things, it is fine. Um... I will keep a quest on me. I have space for two more quests, so we should be good. I will continue grabbing more quests. But uh, in the meantime, we can try and grab the Rhapsody Calendar Cocktail. Because fortunately, we do have to head into those specific areas of other quests. And I prepared this time so we can combine that. Hiccup.